Hello everybody, welcome to our talk for today and uh, we're getting very close to Christmas aren't we and uh, all sorts of things are appearing around the vicarage at the moment that only appear at Christmas and uh, just before I came in front of the camera I popped into the living room where our Christmas tree is and I went underneath the Christmas tree and I came across this. It's got my name written on it and it's all wrapped up and I'm really looking forward to opening it on Christmas Day. I tried to say to my wife it would be a good idea to open it on camera but she was having none of it. I'm only allowed to open it on Christmas Day. Christmas presents look lovely, don't they, when they're all wrapped up. Some people are better at wrapping Christmas presents than others. Um, my Christmas present wrapping technique leaves a lot to be desired. It always looks very scruffy and very untidy when I do it. But imagine that on Christmas Day I didn't unwrap this present. And let's supposing that into January, February, into March, into Easter, beyond into May, June, July, very, very warm day, totally, totally warm, middle of July, middle of August, and that Christmas present is still sitting in our living room, unwrapped. It wouldn't be much of a present, would it? You see, the wrapping of a Christmas present is really important. The wrapping makes it look good. But what's really important is what is underneath. This Christmas present will be lovely, but it will only be lovely if it is unwrapped. At Christmas time, we are offered a gift as Christians, but we can only get the most from that gift. We can only enjoy and we can only appreciate that gift if it is unwrapped, if it is taken, if we take it and we accept the gift. I'd like to read, if I may, just um, a, a one verse from Ephesians chapter 2 and it's uh, verse 8. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourself. It is the gift of God. God has given us Jesus to live and die among us so that we can have the gift of forgiveness. But of course, in order to get the most from that gift, we have to accept it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus, and especially at this time of year, as we remember his birth. Let us not put him aside in all of the other gifts that we get. Help us to see him as the greatest gift of all. And thank you for the gift you have given us in Jesus. For it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening.